hello, hey, hola, ciao, anyang, konnichiwa, hmm, meraba, salam alaikum. Mm -hmm. language. I think I'm a little tired tonight. I'm fatigued. I'm still cancer. Yeah, I'm really tired. I can't think. Uh, let alone English, let alone other languages. So, tonight I'm going to read a poem I wrote about Paris. My love for Paris when I was living there. Et pour vous les francophones, euh, c'est une poème qui, que j'ai écrit qu pour mon amour de Paris. Paris. Euh, J'y habitais deux fois et vraiment c'est à part de mon cœur là. Et maintenant, euh, comme c'est l'automne, il euh, y a une sens de. Euh, Je sens de la nostalgie qui me, qui me, qui me vient. Et c'est pas. Ce n'est pas facile parce que quand tu aimes quelque chose, c'est très dur euh, de le prendre. Euh, bon, c'est ça. Ok, so, it's called Paris m'attend. Paris waits for me. And. There's some words in it that you hear that are in French. Mon esprit, my spirit, les rues, the streets, viens, viens, come, come, je viens, I'm coming, entend, hear. Okay. Paris, Paris, how those words sound so sweet to me. No bitter taste of memory, only lust and longing. My curious feet have caressed your long, sleek pavements tenderly. While searching your ins and outs, I have discovered myself. At the cafe, smoke curled from my lips slowly, tracing your outline, making me aware of your receptive beauty. Now I see you from afar, from a land I consider strange to me now. Paris. You have captured mon esprit. You took it from me while I, while I naively wandered les rues like a vagabond dreaming of restless possibility, possibilities. When can I retrieve what you have taken so swiftly from me? You hold it captive and haunt and taunt me in my dreams, an ever-present reminder that one day I should return to you. Viens, viens is whispered in my mind when I see your alluring image. It seems to be everywhere to me now. If only I could respond, je viens, and you could entend. Merci à tout le monde. Euh, Donne-moi ton euh, tes commentaires si euh, si, as le, si vous, vous avez euh, besoin ou je sais pas. So, leave me your feedback. And, uh, I miss France. I do. I miss it a lot. Um, I'm currently living in the United States, and I remember when I first got back, I had such a reverse culture shock. I was living in France for a while, and I just was. You know, I fell in love with it. I felt it was home. It, Europe was home. Everything about it just was where I wanted to be, and and, and everything about me. I, it's like I was living a different life. Um, so when I came back to the U.S., I had to readjust, and I just couldn't. And I'd also left behind um, my my love, who you know we're separated now, but that's life too. <laughs> Um, and, and I'm, I don't know, in my blog, maybe I'll touch upon, um, you know, nostalgia, and I didn't really write too much about when I was living in Paris, because I always, I always say, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that, and, like, now I just, 
you know, I've always, I've had to get no, I had to get over like this hump of, ah, uh, well, nobody wants to hear it or or expressing myself in general. And I just lately, I'm just I'm a hundred percent of expressing myself in in my artistic form, uh, not anybody else's, in my artistic form because I find a lot of, I mean, I have some friends who are amazing writers who I relate to and, and you know I've been exposed to so many wonderful cultured visionaries um, and I feel like it's just kind of my time to really express my visions like they're so they're like trapped in there now and I just want to they're like ah oh, come out can we come out yet and you know so I'm just gonna let them out <laughs> let them roam free in the world alright so hey doll buona notte Buenas noches. And, uh, yeah, until next time. Adieu. À la prochaine.